what's good everybody and today we are about to talk about this new steam deck that just got announced i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty hype about it the thing is looking pretty dope it's looking like something that i might want to try to get my hands on so we're gonna go over the specs talk about it go over everything that you need to know about it let's go ahead and get into it start the video right now So the new Steam that was announced and is set to launch this December, a handheld console that's able to play your whole Steam library, looking pretty decent. As we know, a lot of people in the FGC like PC gaming, but the thing about PC gaming, if you don't have a laptop, you're going to be lugging around a huge PC setup and nobody wants to do that. So this is a definitely a great option. Now there are past, you know, portable PC options, but this this is looking like it's going to be pretty dope since valve is making it you know they they're the people to do this and on top of that with it running the steam os that's looking pretty cool from the things that we're seeing so far this is looking like a great option so let's go ahead and get into some of these specs so i'm going to skip around a lot of these you know specific hardware specs and all that other stuff now i will talk about some of the specs because there are some specs that people in the FGC have been talking about that they're kind of worried about, but I think it's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and get into this. So one, it plays your entire Steam library, which is dope. A lot of people are buying their fighting games off Steam. The new KO of 15 has been, just been announced for Steam. Uh, and so many people have stuff with Guilty Gear Strive, they have it on Steam. So, so many people are playing their games, uh, their fighting game library on Steam. It comes with a dock. Now, the dock is going to be sold separately, and they don't give a timeline on when that is going to be released or how much it's going to cost. So, the Steam Deck is going to start shipping in December, and it's not necessarily guaranteed that the dock is going to be available in December. So, that's something to watch out for. So, when you do get your hands on the dock, you know, that allows you to go ahead and put it to other monitors and other things if you want to play it uh, outside of just looking at that small seven inch screen $399 is the basic model price we're going to get into the other prices of the other models but there is a reservation fee for you to hold this but the reservation fee goes into your overall paying for the system so that's a great thing now looking at a picture of the actual system itself it's looking pretty dope but people have been talking about how the buttons you know the x the y and all those other buttons they're way in the top right corner so unless you have the kimbe matumbo thumbs you're really gonna have to you know if you have short thumbs like me you're really gonna probably have to be doing some work to touch those buttons but as you can see it looks like from these pictures that you're able to add on different controllers such as the hitbox or a fight stick using the usb-c but i think there's only one usb-c port on the back so you're probably gonna have to get an adapter for that now like i said i'm not gonna go over all the specs but one spec to look at on here that a lot of people was talking about that the screen is only 800p but i don't think that's a problem because the screen is only seven inch it's a seven inch uh screen display so i, I really don't see that being a problem on such a small screen i mean it, it's really not gonna make a difference and also on here yes you're able to expand the memory with micro sds even though once again we're going to get to the different in system storage capacity that is able to do and with this device it's running its own new steam os so that's looking pretty good hopefully it's something that is very very user friendly and people get into from the ign a review that they did they said it was pretty dope so hopefully that's an all-around belief when this thing drops so looking at the different models uh, for the different storage capacities and they're all you know uh are basically the same thing except you know the different storage and i think with the 512 gigabyte it has a different type of screen uh like an anti-glare but you have a 64 gigabyte model that's starting at 399 a 256 gig model that's starting at 529 and then you have a 512 gigabyte model starting at 649 uh, yes, yeah, so here it is from what I was talking about earlier with the difference with the 512 gigabyte model it has a premium anti-glare etched glass. So there it is. Now a carrying case comes with the 399 model and the $529 model, but the 649 model is saying that it's an exclusive carrying case. Also, it has exclusive Steam community profile bundle talking about the 512 gigabyte model and it also has an exclusive virtual keyboard theme. 
uh, also has the fastest storage out of all the three. So here's the differences right here. Now, just getting to my overall thoughts on the Steam Deck. I'm thinking this is going to be an amazing thing, man. I mean, I'm really digging it. It looks pretty cool. I mean, playing fighting games on the go look like it just got a lot easier. And on top of that, that whole conversation about PC gaming in the FGC for tournaments and stuff like that might take on a life of this of its own if this thing is able to come out and actually have some decent gameplay as we see right here rick the hado saying if the dock lets this handle controllers has good performance and manages low lag monitor output well this could actually be a viable option and i mean that's pretty true because i mean they have smash ultimate tournaments that use the nintendo switch so i mean this is something that they might be able to you know incorporate into tournaments to be able to you know play on pc that if this thing does well with lag and stuff like that we know the ps5 has come out with guilty gear strive it has a significant amount of lag on it for that game so we hoping that pattern doesn't continue uh, when it comes to other fighting games that's coming out on the console uh you know we have kof 15 that's about to be released soon so hopefully that does well on the system but these steam decks going forward could be viable i will say the only things that really worry me uh besides you know using them for tourneys and stuff like that and seeing their performance is the battery life now if you go and look at the 31 questions that ign did that the developers answered about this system they said that the battery life is going to be somewhere between two to six hours so that's kind of like a wide range so we know it's probably going to really depend on what type of game you're playing what set settings you have the system on and things of that nature so but that wide range is kind of like you know huh but most times especially if we're going to be using them in tournaments they're going to be plugged in and stuff like that to the wall you don't have to worry about battery life but on the go and stuff like that with it being a handheld system you know that wide range we're really just going to kind of have to see what it's going to be like as far as like battery life if you're the type of person that's not going to have other controllers plugged into it you know if you don't have big hands this is like this might be a system that's kind of you know hard for you to deal with so that's another thing but other than that i mean i'm i'm really seeing that you know this is a pretty cool thing i really don't care about the 800p screen i mean it's a seven inch screen you know what you want but i mean i'm i'm this is looking pretty cool man this is like something that i might invest in this is looking like something that might be really good for the scene gaming in general and stuff like that so let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. Are you thinking about buying? Do you think about picking it up? Do you think it's a great option uh, for PC portable gaming outside of a laptop? Let me know. Because me personally, I really don't like laptops for PC gaming. But, you know, people was using it because, you know, it was kind of like, I ain't going to say the only option because it was other things. Let me know what you think down in the bottom. This is your boy Rexon Max with another FGC Quickie. See you later.